Good morning everyone. Welcome to Auto Quest. It's a sunny Sunday in Mumbai and today we have the 1.5 CVT which is an automatic Honda BRV. The one we are driving today is the 1.5 petrol automatic CVT uh, which is the automatic which comes across all variants in the Honda cars. The diesel does not have an automatic as of yet, it only comes in manual. Uh, the 1.5 engine is, uh, people have said lots of things about it but frankly since day one I always feel the car is very underpowered. I mean whenever I am pushing the car to its limits it just makes so much of noise and it just gives me a feeling of feedback that I cannot do this, I cannot go fast, I am not made to go fast, I am supposed to go very slow in economic speeds at 3000 rpm and not more than that. So th that is one feedback which I get from the car which is just, I mean let me, I'm, I hope you can hear this, I am at mid traffic right now, I am at 40, the gear is in D, I am going to just upshift it to sport and push the throttle, just hear the sound. It just makes it sound like it cannot do it. Every time you push it down, it just does not do the job well. I, I don't feel it's uh, comfortable or it's the power is very linear. It just takes a lot of time. More than the power delivery, before the power delivery, the car just makes a lot of engine noise. Power delivery is very, very slow and very much at the end of the power band. This car makes 119 horsepower at 6600 RPM. So the power kicks in really really slowly it's it takes a lot of time for it to get to triple digit speeds it does not just go like that and plus this gearbox it does not have a trip tonic it does have paddle shifters behind the steering wheel it does shift quickly but it does not deliver the power that quickly power delivery is very bad it's very bad company claims an average of 16 kilometers per liter you know how much i'm getting on this test drive yes 5.5 Honda launched this car in India saying it is a mini SUV compared to the big daddy CRV uh, frankly it's not an SUV I do not have any feeling as if it's an SUV while I'm driving it or when I look at it it's more as a MPV or a CUV a lot of people compare this car to the Renault Duster the uh, Hyundai Creta Ford EcoSport but frankly, this car has only one competitor and that's the Maruti Ertiga. Because frankly, this seats 7, so does the Ertiga. The comparison SUVs only seats 5 people. This car has a ground clearance of 210 millimeters. I think that's why people are confusing it for an SUV. It's not an SUV. I was at the stand when this car was launched uh, at the Delhi Auto Show and frankly I was expecting a small CRV, a mini CRV, uh, something like the Creta or the Eco Sport. but this is what turned out. This looked like a heftier and a Mobilio on steroids you can call it. This actually is a Mobilio on steroids. Uh, the Mobilio did not do very well in India. It was it did not sell as many units as they were planning to sell because that car was in comparison and in competition with the Ertiga and it did not do well for obvious reasons and Honda to change its game in this 7 seating segment had to come out with the BRV with a 7 seater 
it's not quite it's not a lot of change from the mobilio it is still the same car it is the same chassis the same engine transmission but yes this car looks way better than the mobilio it is very very sporty in terms of looks cuts the creases the chrome the bonnet the grill it just look crazy but the minute i sat inside i it's just not done the on road price for this 1.5 petrol automatic is 15 lakh rupees and what do i get for 15 lakh rupees what do i not get let's talk about what do i not get i do not get parking sensors i do not get a reverse camera i don't get navigation i don't even get a touch screen music system i mean the comparison which is the ertiga which costs 5 lakh rupees less than this has given everything all of these things and it just does not make any sense to spend so much money you know 15 lakh rupees one more thing i don't like about this car is the climate control system i mean it looks so bad and so is just these buttons and like the city which is cheaper than this car they have the touch sensitive screen and it looks so nice with the black background and the glass finish on it it looks really really well done look at this this just looks like it's picked up from some van Come with the boot space of 223 liters with all the seats up, seven seats up, and it can be expandable to 691 liters. So I'm in the last row of the BRV, and as you can see, there is enough space, but uh, my high sit really up here. There is no thigh support, and for long journeys, this will be a little uncomfortable. But on the brighter side, I do have a place to keep my phone and also a cup holder. on both the sides uh, it does not fit close to four big though but i am sure it's going to be a little uncomfortable for long journey one of the main and i'm guessing the only reasons i would buy this car is for the way it looks the body line which runs throughout the connecting tail lights the headlights the daytime running lights everything is superb superb it just looks it has a very very nice stance this car